What is up guys, you always here today, I'm back. I've got a new video for you and in this video, we're going to be doing our first ever DIY. Now this DIY we're gonna be doing today is very special because it's inspired by the one and only Jake Paul. Now I'm sure you all know who Jake Paul is. He's literally the biggest YouTuber right now. His daily vlogs are absolutely mental right now. The views are insane. And I actually really enjoy his vlogs. The other day I was watching his vlogs and he was wearing this really nice hoodie and I was like, you know what? I want that hoodie. So I went over to Jake Paul's merch shop to buy the hoodie. However, he wasn't lying when he said his merch sells like a god church. <laughs> because that hoodie I wanted, it's been sold out and it's been sold out for weeks now. I don't know if it's ever going back in stock. It's this hoodie right here. It's called the Rainbow Swell Hoodie. And I just think it looks really cool. And that brings us to what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be attempting to make this hoodie. Now literally, I have no experience with tie-dye. I've never done it before. All I've done is watch a few YouTube tutorials on how to do it. So yeah, this is actually my first time doing it. I've only got one white hoodie. So I've only got one shot. If I mess up, that's it. But just before we start, guys, this week's squad shout goes to Megan Wood. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Megan, for being in the squad. I will see you so active on Twitter and Instagram, so thank you so, so much. If you'd like to be next week's squad shout, make sure you comment down below saying you're in the squad and what social media platforms you follow me on. Also, make sure you've got post notifications on because I always try to pick the people that comment earliest on videos. But yeah, guys, without further ado, let's go downstairs and let's start this tie dye. All right, guys, so we're now downstairs. As you can see, we've got a new camera. Look, we've got one here. Yo, 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 one here, look, we can switch between, pretty crazy, I know. So we've got a hoodie here and our fabric dies as well. Also, we've got our phone, because that's got the instructions of actually how to do this, because honestly, I have no idea. All right, guys, so the first thing we need is a fork. As you see, I've got one here, and what we're gonna do with the fork, just stick it in about the middle where you want the swell to start, and then you just, like, spit it like a spaghetti. Right, like, this is going well, this is actually going well. She said, the woman on the video, to keep the folds neat. So, um, yeah. Okay, this is going all right, I think. Work that round there, work the sleeve, work that round there, work that round there. Look at that, that's pretty good. Right, so the elastic bands are in the packet, which is what we should have opened first, really. We need the elastic bands. Oh, you get loads, that's sick. Wait, what's this? Oh, yeah, we got gloves. Oh, yes. You don't exactly need gloves to put elastic bands. Ah, what the hell? Is the elastic bands rubbish? They're not even stretchy enough. What is this? Why would you make a tie-dye kit with elastic bands that can't even stretch over a hoodie? That's, that's all right, isn't it? Right, there we go, that's one. Also, I should mention, got, oh my gosh. These elastic bands are actually shocking. Right, this is looking, <laughs> I'm gonna insert a picture right here of what this is supposed to look like and what it is looking like. 20 minutes later. I feel like that is it. Surely that's it, right? All right guys, so I feel like that's enough. We've kind of gotten like a circular shape, kind of. Next thing we've got to do is like put the water in these dyes because at the moment they're literally just powder. All right, so we've got all three dyes here now and pretty much all that's left to do now is dye. Wait, <laughs> wait, not, not literally. All right, so I've just put this paper down to protect the worktop because we don't want to get that dirty. So I've got a picture here of the merch and I've got the hoodie here. I'm trying to work out how, how you decide what goes in which area. So what I can work out so far is that's the arm. I think that's the arm and that's the hood. It's kind of blowing my mind though. I'm thinking pink here, blue here and yellow here. Here we go. We're going to start, oh, I forgot what he said. I think he said start in the middle. I'm going to just go here. He said, oh crap. Okay, right, this is scary. I used, I've not used that much. Oh crap, right, um, I don't know what, oh crap, this is going everywhere. Oh, the pressure. Right, we're just gonna go with it. We've gotta be careful, because we need to use, right, that's about half, isn't it? We've gotta use this on the other side as well. Obviously it will soak through, but, um, right, I'd say that is enough for that. Now we're gonna go for the yellow, which is gonna go right here. Um, Oh crap, the lid's on there. <laughs> the lid's still on. Yellow's going there. Oh, why is the yellow come out so much? Ah, so we're going for the blue now. I don't know why I feel like I have to rush this. I feel like it's like a timer on. I should move my phone. I should, I should, def I should definitely move my phone. There. Now we're going to flip it over. Right, we're going to go blue. I feel like I'm gonna run out of dye. I know I should have bought more. I'm gonna go into red. Bang. We've got a very little red. Very little. This is not good at all. Oh no. I'm all out of pink, but I didn't get to do it all. I have to use a bit of the pink on the paper. Um, I think that'll work, you know. That's gonna have to do for you, pink. I'm sorry about that. Oh no. I've got it everywhere. It looks like, it looks like SpongeBob, like some moldy cheese. Oh no. Oh no, I've ruined the yellow. I've got loads of yellow, that's so annoying. Right, you know what, I think that is done. Wait, what do I do next? All right guys, that is all of the dye I've got. I don't know what to do now. I think we've got to let it dry, but I don't know where to put it to dry. Do I have to, I think I have to let it dry, but I don't know where to put it. I'm gonna get more paper. Wait, please don't drip, please don't drip. This is the most awkward thing I've ever done in my life. Okay, 
Yes, <laughs> mission accomplished. All right, guys, so now I've got to let this sit for six to eight hours. That's a long time. So I know what you're thinking, George, what are you doing for eight hours whilst your tie-dye dry? I'm currently spamming every single person back on my uh, new photo. Basically, every time I upload a new photo on Instagram, I go through all the comments and then I like every single comment. And once I've liked your comment, I'll show you once you get to the top. As you can see, guys, I'll like your comment and then I'll click on your profile and then I'll spam you, like spam loads of your photos. As you can see, these are all the people I've done so far. I've still got quite a few to do, as you can see. But yeah, I've done quite a few so far. I literally do this on every single photo. So basically, if you want me to do it to you, go onto my Instagram, whatever my recent photo is, just click on it, give it a comment, whatever you want to say, uh, and I will spam you back. As long as you're not private. If you're private, I can't do it to you because obviously I can't go on your profile. But if you're not private, I'll spam you back and I'll give you loads of likes. So yeah. All right, guys, so it's been about 12 hours. It said six to eight hours, but I waited longer because I slept and I was liking back loads of people's Instagrams. We're about to go down and see what it's looking like now. Right, it looks exactly the same, to be honest. So here it is, as it looked like before. It still feels kind of damp, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm actually really excited to see this. I think what we've got to do now is take these elastic bands off of it. So yeah, once we've done that, we have to wash it underwater just to get all the dye off of it. Oh no, I've just seen this bit and it's still white. That's not supposed to happen, but to be fair, pink was the color we ran out of a bit. All right guys, so here it is. As you can see, I'm actually well happy with this, apart from obviously the pink kind of flopped quite badly. Obviously we didn't have enough of that, which is a bit annoying, but the blue and yellow came out so, so good. All right guys, so now what we need to do is we need to get the hoodie and put it in some water just to wash off the excess dye that hasn't taken into the fabric because at the moment it's literally going all over my hands oh my gosh the water's going multicolored wait i don't think oh no oh no oh no it's going everywhere it's going everywhere it's going everywhere this is a disaster oh no 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 literally i don't know if this is supposed to happen i'll just put it on the washing line to kind of dry it off um, but look at that all the dye is just dripping off it and i feel like the kind of colors have mixed where it was in the water yeah i mean only time's gonna tell now so guys, two days work has led up to this and it's time to finally see the final outcome of this hoodie. So without further ado, here is the final product. Look at that. Honestly, I think that's quite good. Like considering how bad I thought it was going at one point, I think it came out actually all right. So I'm gonna put a picture of Jake Paul's merch here and I don't think it's that different. All right, so when I'm actually editing this back, I know next to each other, mine does look very bad. But what you've got to appreciate is I've literally got the pattern like perfect. Where his pink is, mine is. Where the yellow is, mine is. Where the blue is. Like even on the sleeve, you can see the pink, then the yellow, then the blue. And on the other one, you can see the blue, then the pink. Obviously the colors look extremely off. A, because I didn't have enough pink. And B, because I soaked it in the water, which drained a lot of color out of it. And it also mixed the colors together, which made the yellow less vibrant. But yeah, I'll let you finish off the video now. So I know it's not perfect, but you know what? It was my first try at tie-dyeing. I was actually trying to achieve like a certain look. I wasn't just tie-dyeing for the fun of it. The hood really flopped because as you can see, it's supposed to be pretty much all pink with just that bit of blue, which worked. But the pink just did not work, did it? You know what? Overall, I'm happy with this. I, I'm, I, 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 I'm so excited, I can't even speak. But I'm not going to lie, if you're a Jake Paul fan and you really want his merch, just buy it. Literally, the amount of work that went into this, it took me two days. My hands are now stuck blue. I've tried to wash them about ten times. They're still blue. So honestly, I'd be willing to pay $54 just so I didn't have to do this. So honestly, try this at home for fun. But if you actually want it to look good, just buy the merch. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure you smash the thumbs up button. This video definitely deserves a thumbs up just for the amount of time I spent doing this. Yeah, I hope you really did enjoy. If you did, make sure you comment down below. Comment down below if you'd like me to do more DIY videos. I don't really want to do any more tie-dyeing because blue hands. If you guys want more, I'll 100% do more. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. If you did enjoy, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is George Mason over and out.